I just received my new cooking pot. Whew. And boy, oh boy, are they heavy. I almost hurt my back bringing them in now. Now that would have been silly, yeah? Huh? Get stretch and keep all the muscles loose. Uh, we must always look after the bones and the muscles and make sure that we don't hurt them. Oh, but the safari kid will be here any minute, so I'll just have to back these away later. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, hello, everyone. Oh, you look very excited today. Hey, what have you got there, Fence? It's a picture of my chest. Oh, okay, well, let's see. Oh. I see it's an x-ray of your chest. Hmm. Why have you got this? The doctor thought I broke her playing soccer last week, uh, but I didn't. Oh. Chef Jeff, where will that x-ray on Fence's ribs? OK, well, look at this. I'm going to show you on this little homemade contraption. Let me just plug this in. Ah, uh, there we go. Now, this is a light box. All right. Now, I'm just going to stick this x-ray onto our light box. Just put to the top here like that. Okay. Now you see these little white things that look like spokes of a bicycle, huh? Well, these are the ribs. And this whole thing is a fence's rib cage. Why is it called a cage? Well, if you look at the shape, the ribs come round and they form a cage and they protect the things on the inside, like the heart. Do animals also have these cages? Yes, yes. Lots of animals have this cage in their chest. <gasps> what, what? Huh? I've got a cage in my chest. That can't be. Where would I have room to put a cage? And why would I want to keep a cage in my chest? What would I put in it? What, what? So the ribs are there to protect the heart. Yes, and other important organs. The rib cage is a very important part of the skeleton. I always think the skeleton sounds like a scary thing, like a ghost. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's not that scary. We all have a skeleton inside us, and it supports the body. OK, let me show you. Fancy, come and stand over here. Now, all the bones in the body make up the skeleton, and we're going to start with the head. This thick bone is called the skull. <laughs> That's a good thing. If you had to see a fencer trying to score a goal with a header, if his skull wasn't thick enough, his brain would be mush. <laughs> 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 OK, well, then we have the collarbone over here, and then the breastbone, and then the rib cage is around here. And then there are big bones in the arms and in the legs. And turn around a fencer. And then we have the backbone, and that's made up of smaller bones that are joined together. How many bones are in the body, Chef Chef? Just over 200 bones. Wow, <gasps> that is a lot of bones. Yeah, and do you know where more than half of those bones are? In the head? No, actually more than half of the bones in the body are in the hands and the feet. Oh, mm. Really? Yeah. They look so small. Well, if you look at your hands, you can see the fingers can move, and the wrists can move, huh? So there are lots of bones and joints. Oh. What are joints? Well, joints are... where the bones join each other. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for example, uh, if the bone in a fence's arm was just one bone, what couldn't he do? He couldn't bend it. Yes, exactly. Very good. So imagine a fence there, that there's only one bone in your arm. How would the movement look? Yes. 
But you see, there are more bones in his arm and they're joined together at the elbow. You see, the bone at the top part of the arm here joins the bone at the bottom part of the arm here. Yeah, can you think of any other joints? My knee! Yes, good! And the ankle joins the foot to the leg. <laughs> right. And the shoulder. Yes, good one. The shoulder joint. The skeleton is very, very important. If you didn't have a skeleton with big, strong bones, you wouldn't be able to stand up straight. <laughs> <laughs> Are all the bones in the body hard? They are on the outside, but the big bones have a soft part in the middle called bone marrow. So do the bones help us to move? No, it's not the bones that move us, it's the muscles that move the bones. When you tell your brain to bend your arm, the muscles contract and they pull together like this. So the bottom part of the arm comes closer to the top part of the arm. Can you see what I mean? Yes, mm. so that the muscles help us to eat or to drink a cool drink. Exactly. So every time you want to move one of your muscles, Chef Jeff, do you have to tell it to move? Oh. Hey! <laughs> did you see how quick that was? Offensive, did you know I was going to throw the orange at you? No, or I would have dumped. <laughs> <laughs> well, you caught it. Uh, did you tell your brain to make your arm muscles work and stretch out your arm and catch the orange? No, I didn't have time. You see, the brain is working very, very fast. So we don't have to think about moving to actually move. The brain knows that we want to move before we think about it. So it tells the muscles what to do. That's incredibly clever. Yes, it is. And think about how slowly we would move if we had to think about all the movements before we did them. Like, say if I wanted to pick up this knife from the counter, I'd have to say, okay, leg muscles, start going forward. Left, <laughs> right, <laughs> left, stop. Okay, stop leg muscles. Then I'd have to say arm muscles, lift up hand and stretch out arm and stomach muscles, let me lean over and hand muscles, make the fingers work so I can pick up the knife and so on. So you see it would take like a really, really long time, huh? So the brain works like a fast computer. Exactly. Marvin. Yebo, yebo, Marvin. I think I need to go to the doctor. Huh? What? I think I've broken my arm. <gasps> You've broken your arm? Mm. How did you do that? You were sitting on a chair all day watching television. Well, I just dropped it and it broke. What do you mean you dropped your arm? I dropped it on the floor. Marvin, how can you drop your arm on the floor? It's attached to your body. Well, I dropped it on the table then. Okay. Mm. So you dropped your arm on the table? Mm. And now you think it's broken? Yes. So, hmm. would you take me to the hospital tomorrow morning, please? Why tomorrow morning? Well, I told the hyenas I'd help them build a new house tomorrow. And if I go to the hospital with my broken arm, I wouldn't be able to. Ah, I get it. You're pretending to have a broken arm so you don't have to help the hyenas. No, that's not true at all. Okay, well, if you've got a broken arm, you won't be able to play soccer tomorrow. So I'll have to take your place. No, 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 no. Ah, mm. ah, Marvin, Marvin, look, look, look. Mm. I can use my arm now. It's okay. It must have fixed itself, hey? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right, mm. Marvin. Hey. Sure thing. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm. Hey! Fix! <laughs> hey! Mm -mm. Marvin will never understand. Let's get the old tree to show him the skeleton and the muscles. Hello, everyone. You want to see a skeleton? Well, here it is. You see how the bones support the body, like a frame. And you can see how they all join together. Have a look at these joints. Then, there are the muscles. These are the most important muscles in the body. Here, take a look. There are four layers of muscles across the stomach area. 
and they help to protect all the organs in that area, the stomach and liver and kidneys and so on. It's interesting to see what's inside you, isn't it? How many muscles are in the body, Chef Jeff? There are more than 600. Whoa. Do you know that you even use muscles when you smile, huh? Olivia, can you smile for us? OK, keep smiling. How many muscles do you think Olivia is using to smile? Ten. Uh-uh, she's only using two. She's using the muscles on the sides of her mouth and ones near each eye. Hmm? Do you know that you use more muscles to frown than to smile? That's amazing. Yes, the human body is a pretty amazing trick. Skeleton Shoot. keeps us standing tall. Shoes helping us to stand one and all. There are over 200 in the whole body, the most in the hands and feet you'll see. And the muscles help us move the joints, so we can get from point to point. But it's the amazing brain that tells them what to do. We'd be lost without it, and that's very true. La 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 Muscles help us move the joints So we can get from point to point But it's the amazing brain that tells them what to do We'd be lost without it and that's very true The rib cage is a cage made of bones that protect your heart. <laughs> I'm glad they are there. And there are over 200 bones in the body, and many joints, and hundreds of muscles. What, what? I didn't know we had so many things inside us. <laughs> That's all for today. But next time you pick up something heavy, think about all the messages the brain has to send to the body. OK, bye for now. Bye. OK, guys, we're going to do some stretching exercises. Come. Switch up! Oh. Push up, push up, push up, push up, push up, and your shoulders, and your arms and the joints, yeah! And other side, other side, other side. Okay, and now put your legs up on the table. That's it! And touch your knees. The skeleton keeps us standing strong. Shows how to us to stand one and all. There are over 200 in the whole body, the most in the hands and feet you'll see. The muscles help us move the joints So we can get from point to point But it's the amazing brain that tells them what to do We'd be lost without it and that's very true La 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 Muscles help us move the joints So we can get from point to point But it's the amazing brain that tells them what to do We'd be lost without it and that's very true